everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for the day. Uh, before I started, I wanted to thank everyone who has taken the time out to vote for me in the Face of Fitness uh, contest. Your votes have meant so much to me, I couldn't have imagined the amount of support that I've been getting. So, no matter what, I already feel like a winner. <laughs> um, okay, cheesy moment over. Time to work out. The very first exercise I am doing today is a clam plank which is something a little bit different. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into a plank position. Make sure your core is pulled in tight, your body forms a nice straight line, so no dropping your hips, no lifting your butt. Make sure everything's pulled in and you should feel your core working. And then you're going to bend your right knee, so it starts out pointing at the floor, and then you're gonna raise your knee so it points out to the side, while holding your core tight. And you should feel this muscle right here really working and tightening as well as your entire core because you're going to hold that position and really challenge yourself. So that would be one. So bring it out, up. Don't touch in between, just keep going. That's three, four, five, six, seven. When you're done with this side, you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. 11, 12, 13, doing the same exact thing on the other side, so core stays tight the whole time, really getting challenged, knee points to the floor, and then to the side wall. Next exercise is a pendulum kick. So you're going to start out with your feet together, knees together, you're going to stick your butt out to the back wall into a nice close squat and then while keeping that position you're going to kick out your right leg and reach toward it, that's one. Come back to your squat, chest stays lifted, knees stay behind your toes, butt reaches to the back wall always, oh, forgot to do the arm, <laughs> two, three, Every time you squat, press that, that butt toward the wall. Five. I don't know why, but this six, exercise reminds me of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'll take it. Love that lady. <laughs> now I lost count. <laughs> I think that's about ten, ten ish. Yeah. Eleven. And Buffy would definitely wear as strong as the new skinny shirt. <laughs> He keeps making me lose count. Twelve-ish. Okay, focus on form. Thirteen-ish. Okay, next I'm going to do a low jack burpee. So, for this exercise, I'm going to kind of stand at an angle so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to squat down, hands plant, and jump your feet out. You're going to do a push-up, making sure your form is correct. Jump back. Instead of jumping up to the ceiling, you're going to stand and do a half jack. So like a jumping jack, but you stay low. You're not using your arms. They stay up. That was one. Two. Three. Four. exercise is a crab toe reach. So you're going to go into crab position like when you were little and you crab walked in gym class. Core pulls in tight and we're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg. So I'm going to start by lifting my right leg, my left arm, my butt is down. I'm going to lift and reach for my toe. That would be one. Try and keep everything lifted so only your left foot and right arm or vice versa are touching the floor at one time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, Same that. thing on the other side. So this time my left leg's gonna lift, right arm's gonna reach and press. That's one. Oh, wait. 
weight is in my heel. Two. Three. Your butt should lift. Four. Five. Core stays tight. Six. Seven. Eight. <laughs> Nine. The balance on this one's challenging me. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't edit that out. 11. Next I'm doing heel tap leg lifts so I get to lay on the floor. Lower back touches the ground. Shoulder blades lift. Arms reach, but shoulders stay relaxed. Feet reach out, and then my toes point out to both sides so my heels are touching. I'm going to tap my heels all the way up and all the way back down. That's one. Two, make sure your abs stay tight and engaged the whole time. That's three. Four, and make sure you breathe. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Reach down, 11. For the next exercise, you get to stay just where you are. Legs um, are going to lift, but your arms are gonna stretch out beside you. Lightly, you're really gonna be using your lower abs for this move. You're going to lift your legs, lift them up, then lift your hip bones off the floor and twist right, twist left, that's one, two, three, four, five. And I'm not putting weight on my hands. I'm just using them there for support and balance. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The next exercise is a reverse sit up. I'm gonna use my stability ball for it, but you can easily do it without the ball. And for that, all you would do is lay on your belly, let your hip bones press into the floor. You can plant your toes, hands go behind your head, and you're going to lift. Lift and hold, lift and hold, and you should feel your whole back working. Um, so if you're using a stability ball, the movement is the same. The ball is gonna go under your hips, toes plant. I like to drop all the way down, and then come up and hold, that's one. Two, three, four, Five, I let my shoulder blades press together when I come up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The next exercise I'm doing is a roll up. So basically, it's a full sit up, but you're not bending your knees. You're keeping your legs straight and extended so that you're going to use your whole core and your abdomen for the entire range of motion instead of just the hip flexors. So I like to start out with my hands reaching over my head and then focus on lifting one vertebrae at a time. So head, neck, roll all the way up through your spine, lean forward and reach for your toes. That's one. And same thing when you go down. You want to keep your core engaged and pulled in tight and go down one vertebrae at a time until you're back to your starting position. That's one. Two. Three. Four. For the next exercise, I'm doing a plank lift. So what that means is you're going to start out on your forearms, and then you're going to go into your plank. Make sure your core is tight and engaged. Your back is flat. Um, your butt isn't lifted or drooping again. And you're going to start with your left hand, then your right. Come up, go back down. That's one. 
two. When you get halfway through, you're going to start with your right hand first. Three, four, five, six. Try and keep your core steady and still. Seven, eight, nine. That was 10, so now I'm going to start with my right hand. One, or 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, everyone, that was my workout for today. Check out my blog for the workout breakdown, how many times I'm going to go through everything how many reps I did, all of that good information, benderfitness.com, and there is still another day left of voting, so again, I appreciate all your votes, keep voting, <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new workout, have a good night.